Hey everybody, uh, everybody that's watching and those of you that don't watch. Uh, there's some materials that we're going to use to make a sleeve hitch to haul this uh, box scraper for doing our graded driveway up in uh, Nantahala. It's uh, pretty much washed out. You see the hook up on it. it does not match the hook up on the trailer. And yes, this tractor is the same, the same one that we uh, used for cutting down the brush in the backyard. If you happen to watch that video, okay. I'm going to, uh, uh, when we get further along into it, I'll make a breakdown of the parts that I used and a a finished uh, picture of, you know, what it's. Uh, what the drawing was that I used and uh, what it's supposed to look like. Actually, this drawing here, I don't know whether you can see it, it's awful bright out here. Uh, it's basically what I used for uh, buying the parts. And I still came out, if you look here, I got some half inch lock nuts, nylon, nylock, uh, 3 eighths, a bunch of 3 eighths washers, a bunch of half inch washers, some long bolts to hold it on to the, the, uh, to hold the, the hitch on. And uh, a long piece of pipe for the handle, two shorter pieces. notice there's marks in the in the middle of it right here. Well, not exactly in the middle because I didn't get it set up. I just did that for reference point for me. That, with that three-quarter inch pipe is going to be welded. Okay, we're going to shut you off for a couple of minutes and get set up outside so I can dress that steel up a little bit. And then, uh, then we'll set up some holes to drill. So, see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, we're going to smooth these pieces of metal up and then I'm going to have to stop because I just discovered my drill press is still up at the other house. We're going to make a trip up there to get it. put this off, but uh, I'll try and explain what's going on. And then when I get my drill press, I'll finish it up. Probably going to be a week. This is half-inch pipe. 
The hole was almost five eighths inside. Uh, I'm going to have to run a drill bit through it because it'll go halfway through and then it gets stuck. I'm just going to have to clean some burrs out. And it's going to go right in here with the pin down through it. See if we can get there. I'm going to have to trim that other part out. Here's a 9 inch. This is the plate that's going to go right on there with three bolts through it. One, two, three. One of these on each side. I'll round them off. They're going to have a half inch bolt running out completely all the way through it. This will be the part that hooks to the swivel and goes like this with the plate across the end and that pipe welded to it. And that's pretty much all we can do because I don't have a drill press here. The drill press is up the other house. I'm sorry about that, but it's going to be take a while before I get finished. Bye. Okay, we got the holes drilled in the framework. Next time we get together, we'll be welding it together and uh, we've got to bend that one piece of metal. i got a question for anybody. Now, I took a picture of this box scraper the other day. Did anybody notice that I had the box itself on backwards on the framework? Uh, I didn't notice it until I was editing the movie and <laughs> look at the picture. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody. Yeah, how are you today? Uh, this morning we put all the pieces together and they're just tack welded together. So I'm going to have to finish it up. I'm going to explain what these are. This is the plate that goes on the back of the tractor. This is the pin that goes in the, the pin goes in here that goes in the hitch. These were the two 10 inch pieces. This was a 9 inch piece and this was a 5 inch piece and what I did was I put a nickel in here and I just tacked it in place. I'm going to weld it solid. That's to make it more rigid. Uh, I'm going to turn around and show you hooking it back up and then uh, I'm going to weld it up solid and mount it on. So hold on just a second and we'll show you sticking it in the hitch. swivels up so that you can drive it to places without dragging it. This goes in here. The pin goes down through that nipple. Anyway, a half inch nipple that I got. There's the pin. And this is the way it mounts on. Right there. Three, three eighths inch bolts. With that. Uh, nylock nuts so they can't come loose because I'm going to have to reach up in there to put it in place and uh... oh yeah there's one other thing I forgot to tell you this I, w I drilled the two holes in here and I put these two two bolts these two bolts go in there and tighten up against here so that it can't swivel back and forth while you're driving or while you're using it and that's the reasoning for that. Uh, rather than tighten it up all the time, I just weld the two nuts right in place. Okay, I'm going to take this out, weld it up solid, and may show you a little bit of high-speed welding while we're doing it. Uh, we'll see about that. But right now, thanks for watching. I'll be back to you shortly. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of welding, and then I'm going to put it on fast forward and make it go a little bit faster than I can actually do. I'm not, it's been years and years since I've done any serious welding. I used to be really good at it. One time I was certified, but that's 
long time down the road. Here we go. Shut you off. I'm not going to bore you anymore. Uh, <coughs> what I'm going to do is let that cool down a little bit, and uh, then I'll mount it on the tractor, and uh, I'll just spray it in place uh, on the tractor with black paint. I'm not going to do that until we show you what happens. Okay, shutting you down. Bye. Hello again. Uh, we got it on. I will tell you one thing that handle on it is uh, is not going to get it. Uh, looks pretty good. Bends in it. It swivels. I'm going to get in it and uh, pick it up and show you how it works. Uh, what I am going to do is look around for a uh, linear actuator much like I put on, uh, if you watch the video on my Polaris tilt bed. I put a linear actuator on it with a switch on the dash. I think I'm going to do the same thing to this because a woman could never use it. Uh, it's probably 75 or 100 pounds of pull to pick that thing up. So uh, I'm going to put the camera back down, pick it up, and it's going to end this one until until we decide whether I'm going to get a linear actuator for it. Okay.
pick it up and put it back in the front of the tent where I keep it and check the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay, let me back it in there with the scraper backwards. Okay, that's all for now. It did what it was supposed to do, and uh, <laughs> the only drawback to it is that handle. i got to do something with that. Talk to you later. Uh, take care. Bye. Hey, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, a thumbs up, thumbs down be appreciated. Uh, make a comment if you'd like uh, anything that uh, I might be able to uh, improve. Comment if you appreciate it. Uh, another thing you could do, if you want to see some more videos that I've made, uh, all you've got to do is go down here and click on this little icon down here. It'll take you to where you can subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye.